everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve Illyria's look, the merciless one, from the TV show Angel as well as the Buffy the Vampire Slayer comics. First I'm going to start by priming the eyes and I'm just using my usual concealer to do this. We are going to be placing quite a bit of shadow on the eyes so you really want to make sure that it's not going to crease up on you so you want to take away as much moisture from the eyes as possible. Then I'm going to move on to priming my face. I'm using both a matte veil primer and a pore balancing primer as well. Then I'm going to take a Kajal black eyeliner and I'm going to place this all over the lid. Now I'm not going up into the crease with this as that will cause this product to crease. So just keep it on the mobile lid. You really don't need much of this product. We just need a dark base for the darker shadows we will be placing over the top. So just use your fingertips or you can use a brush to blend this out. This didn't actually blend that well so probably use a creamier product than this. Then I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow. Any matte black eyeshadow will do. And with a flat brush I'm just going to pack that on the black base we just put down. Build this up to the shape and opacity that you're after. You can do any shape to suit your eye shape, it's just a matter of working it around. Once you build that up to the opacity that you're after though, blend the edges. You don't want this to be too harsh. If anything, blend between each layer of opacity so you can be sure you'll have blended edges. Now I'm taking the blue shadow from this palette. Any dark shimmery blue shadow will work. I'm going to use this around the edges of the black shadow we have placed down. This will add a nice blue tinge which Illyria has around her eyes. Now in the TV show the eye makeup doesn't come up this far but in the comics it does so I'm kind of referencing that a little bit more when it comes to the eye look. Once you have that go back in with your black liner and use this to tight line your eyes. The lashes aren't important in this look but you don't want there to be all this pink fleshiness around the eyes. So line both the tight line and the water line. Also taking a little bit of that liner across the lashes as well. Then moving on to the base and I'm going to mix a little bit of white foundation with my normal foundation just to pale the colour a little bit. Make sure that if you are paling or tanning yourself up that you're taking this shade all over your ears, into your hairline, behind your ears, down your neck, basically on any skin that is showing. This is especially important if you intend on cosplaying this character as you don't want to be three different shades all over your body. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my usual concealer and with a damp beauty blender I'm just going to bounce that in under the eyes. This will just give us a little bit of a clean canvas to work on when we place shadows there later. I'm then quickly going to set that with a pale pink and pale yellow powder. This will just help keep that nice and light as she's kind of a radiant sort of character with all the power that's within her. Then I'm going to take a cream contour. Now uh, Winifred, who happens to be the body that Illyria has taken over, has quite a structured streamlined face. So to recreate that I'm just going to use a little bit of cream contour and a stiff foundation brush, place that under the cheekbones and around the jaw. And then using the foundation brush that I used to apply my foundation with, I'm just going to stipple that in, also using small circular motions to help blend it. You can go back to the Damp Beauty Blender to do this as well. I just didn't want it too structured. I wanted it really quite natural. Then I'm going to move on to setting that with a powdered contour shade. Now I'm just using a very fluffy brush to do this. Again, this is just going in the real crevices of the cheekbones and along the jawline. Then I'm going to take a navy cream and on a small blending brush I'm just going to blend that into the hairline. You only really want this cream to come halfway down the forehead as we will be blending out the edges a little bit later on. Really blend this into the hairline as it is kind of part of her skull and it kind of simulates the power that comes through. Then with that same blue we used on the eyes I'm going to use that on a fluffy brush to help set that cream product that we just put down. This is more of a duochrome sort of eyeshadow so it really looks awesome in different lights as it changes how it looks. Uh, then I'm just blending out the edges as I said before with the foundation brush we used to apply our foundation. Then using the black cream and the same cream stack I used earlier with the blue, I'm using a thin eyeliner brush to place veins along the forehead. Now to do veins you want a really nice light hand. You don't want to be putting too much pressure on this. The more imperfect the better. You can try and replicate the veins within the TV show or the comics but I find that's not really necessary. Just adding a little bit of veining really helps and it kind of brings forth that power that's within this character. The power is kind of pushing forward these veins out of the body. 
And then I'm going to take that black liner again, I'm going to run that through my lashes so that I have something that I can smudge out. And once I've got that through the lashes, I'm going to take a small smudger brush and a little bit of that black shade we used on the lid, and I'm going to smudge that out. You don't need to bring this all the way into the corner, you want to leave that in a corner free of product. Then I'm going to move on to the brows. Now I'm really following the shape of her brows from the comic and the TV show, which are really quite thin at the start, have a high pointed arch and a thin towards the tail end. I'm then going to define them a little bit more with the black shadow we used on our eyelids on a small little uh, angled brush. This is just going to add a little bit more definition to them and darken them up a little bit more. Then with that same black cream used to uh, create the veins, I'm going to place this along the lips. If you have a black lipstick, feel free to use that instead. This is all I have though. So using a small brush, I'm going to use that black cream to line my lips and then I'm going to fill them in. Now this doesn't have to be completely perfect, you just want a pretty structured dough-like lip. Then with that black shadow we used earlier, I'm going to set that a little bit. I don't want it to kind of transfer onto my teeth or bleed along the cracks. And then with that blue shade we used earlier as well, this is going to go in the center of the lips. Again, adding a bit of dimension to it and her lips are kind of blue, but not completely blue. And there you have it, your final Illyria character. If you want to cosplay this character, I suggest doing blue streaks through the hair, but there you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve Jared Leto's Joker look from the new Suicide Squad movie.